We begin this morning with President Trump in Seoul, South Korea, after wrapping up the G20 summit in Japan. After posing in the class picture with other world leaders, Mr. Trump said trade talks will resume with China and that he's holding off on imposing new tariffs on China, at least for now. In the last 24 hours, the president has met with the leaders of two of America's biggest rivals, Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping. Paula Reed is in Osaka, Japan, where Mr. Trump discussed these meetings and a whole lot more. Good morning, Paula. What can you tell us? Good morning, Michelle. Earlier today, the president tweeted an invitation for North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, asking him to meet him at the border between North and South Korea so the two men could shake hands and say hello. Tomorrow we're going to the DMZ. I said, while I'm there, I'll shake his hand. We get along. At a press conference in Japan, shortly before he departed for South Korea, President Trump said he hoped to meet with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and would gladly step on North Korean soil. Sure, I would. I would. I'd feel very comfortable doing that. I would have no problem. Earlier, he held a high-stakes meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping as the two countries are engaged in an escalating trade war. The two men were unable to reach a deal, but the president cited some progress. We agreed that I would not be putting tariffs on the $325 billion that I would have the ability to put on if I wanted. He said both sides made concessions. China agreed to buy more U.S. farm products, and the U.S. will make it easier for Chinese students to study in America. The whirlwind of diplomatic engagements came on the sidelines of the G20 summit. Yesterday, the president met with Russian leader Vladimir Putin, where he appeared to joke about election interference. Today, he revealed the two leaders continued to discuss Russian meddling during their private meetings. We talked about it. Hey, we talked about it. You know, we've talked about it before. You know he denies it totally. Special counsel Robert Mueller concluded Russia did, in fact, interfere in the election in an effort to benefit Mr. Trump. Former President Jimmy Carter suggested yesterday President Trump's 2016 election victory was illegitimate. He lost the election and he was put into office because the Russians interfered. On his behalf. Russia, Russia, that, Russia. Isn't it crazy? Okay, Jimmy Carter, look, he was a nice man. He was a terrible president. He's a Democrat, and it's a typical talking point. During his time at the G20, the president met with other controversial leaders, including Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. He says they discussed the murder of U.S. based journalist Jamal Khashoggi killed in the Saudi consulate in Istanbul last year. Nobody so far has pointed directly a finger at the future king of Saudi Arabia. But the CIA and the UN have both assessed the crown prince ordered Khashoggi's assassination. A North Korean official described the prospect of a Kim Trump meeting at the border. A very interesting suggestion. If the president was to step into North Korea, he would be the first sitting U.S. president to do so. Jeff.